And most people don't believe in any of this stuff, right? <laughs> so, don't know, people don't believe in any of this stuff. So that's why this is a very hard, it's a very difficult dis discussion for the conventional thinker. So, part of your process, because remember we talked about, I, 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 I don't like to bring it up here, but um, we talked about these guys, right? The Pleiadians. Well, there's a lot more. There's a lot more going on here, right? So, and then there's the hu there's the Stellan types. Okay. Uh, so you could be you could be and there's the there's the cosmic types. You see how many types of people there are? Types of ET, types of advanced being. Remember, old souls. Of you could be a, a Stellan from another planet, from another galaxy. You could be a cosmic, which is ascended time and space and um, can be quite large and powerful. You could be the standard reptoid, which is cold, heartless. If you're involved with money, usually that's probably a reptoid. <laughs> it's, uh, mantids tend to work in the me medical fields. Mantids, they're very good with the uh, genetics. So if you're kind of in the biotech, if you're maybe a physician or uh, some type of specialist, you could be one of those. And, uh, you know, all these different types. Fairies could be in healing, magic. So determining, so part of the process is what type. Now, once you... Once you discover your type, then you can figure out a planet or a system. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Like, to me, to me, it doesn't matter. But to you, maybe it matters. And so when you do this, when you sort of expand your knowledge, and it becomes a much bigger reality, right? This is much bigger. And maybe, maybe the, the mantids and the reptoids don't like each other, but there's not a soap opera between these guys. And in many cases, they're cooperating because the, these guys are more advanced, right? They're not, they realize that, that um, it's a zero sum game. They need each other, even though they may not like each other, they know they need, when you're advanced, right? You realize. There's a reason for these, and there's a reason for these. And these guys, if they get injured, they need a mantid. And the mantids, you know, if they need to make some money, they get they need a reptoid. You know, there's, so there's if they need to build a hospital, if the mantids need to build a hospital, they need the money, the funding, and they got to go to the reptoids. If the reptoids are dying of a disease, they got to go to the mantids. They need each other. It's called it that inter interrelationship. It, I call it a zero sum game. We need each other. So when you become advanced, you you're not. It's not a soap opera. Everybody's trying to kill each other, because you know the, the reptoids need the birds or the avians because they have certain types of knowledge and magic and, and technology. And the felines have a certain culture and knowledge. And yeah, there's discrepancies. And yeah, you know, the disagreements. But, you know, if the felines get hurt, they need the mantids. If the fairies need to drop to, to, to conjure some money, they got to cast a spell on the reptoids. Like, it's, it's all interrelated. And nobody's better than the other person. So if you find you if you find you're one of these or you're a Stellan or you're a cosmic, you're not better. You're not better. There's no better. It's interrelationship. 